Okay, so it's July 2025 and we are going to look at a brand spanking new app store which is available for Android TV, Google TV, Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Cube. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say today, we are going to look at a brand spanking new app store for Android devices, including the Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Cube. And the great thing about it is if you've got a Fire TV Stick or Cube, it's available directly on the Amazon app store so there's no side loading needed to get this app so i'm going to go through the installation process on the fire stick and cube first of all this also applies i believe to fire tvs too so press the home button and then just go to the magnifying glass go down go into search and you can either type or you can say digi link and then underneath the on-screen keyboard if you've typed it in just highlight that middle button you might need to scroll down to apps and games and there it is, DigiLink. So make sure it's highlighted, middle button on the remote. And then when you see this screen, middle button again, it'll download, it'll install and then you'll see open app. Once you see open app, middle button on the remote to open it. And then here it says, allow DigiLink access to this device's location. Well, it's probably a good time just to say whilst using this app. So select that middle button and then you do need to give it app permissions to allow whilst using the app, this one here that's already selected. So make sure that's highlighted middle button on the remote control and then just press the back button once. And then you can close this down just by pressing the down part of the ring on the remote control to highlight close middle button. If you're on a Google or Android TV, then you're going to need to download it. If you haven't got it, go into apps, go into search for apps and games and type or say downloader and then pick downloader that's just there, the orange with the D with the arrow pointing downwards and then install it. Once you finally get to this screen, then you want to make sure opens highlighted middle button and then middle button again to get rid of this. And then you want to go up to the enter a URL box, middle button to get the keyboard up and you want to type in there the numbers. So you want to go to one, two, three and type in there two, one, two, oh, three that's two one two oh three then go down to the tick middle button and then go down to go highlight that middle button if you see this come up then choose your options i just accept it and then when you see this again choose your options i've just clicked consent scroll down and what we're looking for is this digi link here put your red circle over it middle button and close any adverts that come up and then that should then download. Now, if you get this for your security, your TV currently isn't allowed to install unknown apps from this source, you can change this in settings and make sure settings highlighted, middle button. And then what you wanna do is you wanna find downloader in your list there and turn that switch on and then go across to install and middle button and let that install. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long because it's quite a small file. Go across to done, middle button, and then go across to delete, highlight that middle button, go across to the second delete, highlight that middle button. And then just keep tapping the left hand side of the ring on the remote until home's highlighted middle button and then back button twice to come out. If you're back to this screen, just keep pressing the back button until you go back to the main screen and then go across to your apps and you'll find you're looking for this digi link. Highlight it, middle button, and here it says allow DigiLink to access this device's location. So again, just like the Fire Stick, select while using this app, middle button, and then again, select allow only while using the app, middle button, and then press the back button to come out of that. Now, obviously, because this is new, there are updates coming out all the time. Now, since I've just downloaded it, there has been an update. So just highlight update now, just by pressing the bottom part of the circle on the remote middle button and let that update. Now, you might get this again for your security. Your TV currently isn't allowed to install unknown apps from this source. You might get this when you first try downloading something from this app store. Now, if you do, again, go to settings and then find DigiLink in that 
list just like you did with downloader and turn it on then go across to update or if you're installing an app install middle button on the remote and let that install then go across to done middle button if you see that and there you go digilinks now updated so let's just go back into it again allow while using the app so once you're in, then you will notice here, you've got two options. You've got a DigiLink code and you've got a downloader code. Now this means that not only can you use the DigiLink codes to download stuff from here, you can also use downloader codes. So this means that if for any reason downloader is out of action for any time, if it can't be installed on your device, then you can use DigiLink as a backup. So I'm just going to give you an example. So I'm going to download and install TV Bro and I'm going to go into the DigiLink section and I'm going to type in the DigiLink code for that, which is 710577. I'm going to go down to the little arrow there or press the back button once on the remote control and highlight go and then press the middle button. And as you'll see pretty quickly, it starts downloading. And there we go, we get the install. Now at this stage, when we try to install it, if we get a security warning, we have to go back and turn on DigiLink to be able to install apps from this device. So once we see this screen, that's it, it's downloaded. We can go to done, middle button, and then if we want to, we can go up to the folder at the top there, the top right hand corner, go into that. And that is a list of all the things we've downloaded. Now, if we've not got a lot of space on our device, then we can highlight what's in there. And then we've got a couple of options. We can open it if we want to reinstall it again. But in most cases, we want to delete it because we want to free up space on our device. These devices don't have a lot of space generally. And if we want it again, we can just go back to the website and download it. So I'm going to delete it. And there you go. That has now been deleted. Also, if we wanted to, if, for instance, the code for the DigiLink version of whatever we're looking for doesn't work, then we can put in the downloader code. So let's just go to the downloader code and put in the downloader code for TV Bro. So 627360. Press the back button on your remote, go across to go, middle button. And as you'll see again, quite quickly, it starts downloading this time using the downloader code. So again, we can install just by going across to install. And there we go. It's now installing. Go across to done, middle button, go up to that folder up there. And I would recommend deleting out whatever you've just downloaded. Make sure this list is empty to keep your stick or your cube or your Android or Google TV as clean as possible. So highlight that and then just go down to delete middle button and there you go, that's now deleted. But it's kept the actual app on our device. It's just deleted the download file, that's all, which as I say, we can get again by typing in that code at a later date if we need to. Now, if you want to create a DigiLink code, then you can go to the website digilink.ddns.net and you can scroll down and you will see here, create new short link. Now, if you create a new short link from here, then this is a temporary short code link. So this is good if you just want to share something with a DigiLink code for 24 hours or less. But if you want a DigiLink code to be permanent, then what you can do is you can go up to register and register for an absolutely free account. All you've got to do is give your email address, set a password and confirm it. And then once you've done that, and then you can log in, and then what you can do is you can set your codes in there. You can delete them if you don't want them anymore. You can monitor the number of clicks that you've had on those codes as well. So that is very, very useful. But the main thing is those codes will be permanent if you register for a free account and uh, set them up from in there. Now, obviously, as I'm writing this video, DigiLink is literally, it's less 
less than a day old. It's only been released less than 24 hours ago. So there's not a great deal of codes out there at the moment, but I'm sure in the coming weeks, the coming months, there will be lots of codes around. And this, like I say, this app is particularly good because it is actually available on the Amazon App Store as an official app rather than a sideloaded one. At the moment on Google devices, Google TV and Android TV, you do need to sideload the app. But I've been in contact with the developer and they've said that they are planning to get this onto the Google Play Store as soon as possible. They've just got to do a few little tweaks to the applications so that they comply with Google's policies so that it'll be accepted upon review. So hopefully in the not too distant future, this app, as well as being available on the Amazon App Store, it will also be available on the Google Play Store. So you'll be able to download that directly from the App Store on your Android and Google TV too. I hope you like this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.